people along streams and rivers. They are a critical component of riparian areas. They have many ecological benefits and reduce force, height, and volume of flood water. Trees restrain the passage of green water to streams and rivers and assist in allowing a more open soil structure. When water is unable to soak into the ground, water can cause damage by flooding. Trees allow water purification, ground and surface flow regulations, erosion control, and stream bank stabilization. For every 5% of tree co cover added to a community, storm water runoff reduces by 2%. Matt is going to demonstrate to us what a bank looks like without tree stabilization. Big hole! Holy hole! So here you can actually see a good bank and what a good bank should look like. You can see how the grasses have come up and the tree roots are actually holding the soil together. And because of that, you can have grasses grow and then start washing out continually. And another cool thing about this is that you can actually, you can't see from the camera because it's a crappy camera, but it's pretty neat. Um, but right there, it's actually wet all the way up to these trees because they actually suck it up and absorb it up which is pretty neat, if you ask me. One of the neatest part about trees is transpiration. Transpiration is when these trees like these, like these, take water up from the roots, up through the tree, and goes out through the stomata. Now actually during the day, when it transpires, the water comes out of the leaves and waters everything around it. Isn't that pretty neat? Singing in the rain. I just go singing in the rain. Trees like these can actually transpire up to 35 gallons a day. That's a lot of water. Trees have an incredibly beneficial effect on the atmosphere we live in. This tree, this tree, and this tree all contribute to the air quality we breathe. Trees improve air quality by absorbing polluted gases and airborne particles through the stomata of the cell. Once in the cell, they are diffused and absorbed to become acids or participants in other cellular processes. That pretty neat! This part on this tweed right here, this pine cone, this, this thing right there, that's senescence! And I like to call that senescence, nest, 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 nest. Have you ever thought of the scientific processes that allow trees to cool the area around them? I have! Trees affect temperatures through transpiration as water is absorbed through the roots and then evaporated into the air through the leaves. The, release, the relaxing shade of a tree also affects temperature as it reduces the amount of direct sunlight in a specific area. Have you ever wondered why trees are planted closely to buildings, such as the trees next to the McKay Library? There is a, that is largely due to the fact that trees, believe it or not, help conserve energy. They lower temperatures surrounding buildings through transpiration and shade which in turn save energy costs in the warm summer months. Trees can also help block wind, which is another key contributor to lower temperatures and heating costs in the winter months. That very neat! The air quality in here is real nice, just not as nice as outside. So, you know, what we're going to do in this video, like we're talking about like, you know, what tweeds do to like the atmosphere, and you know, like, what tweeds, like, what resources we get from tweeds, and like cool things like, bank of woven and like what windbreaks are for and you know like trans well it's called transpiration but I just like to call it trans 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 perspiration for short it's a pretty cool name if you try to say it really really fast or real really slow it's still a really cool name I like it a lot this is a windbreak oh, wait, wait. That's pretty neat. Windbreaks are actually one of the best uses of trees. When you plant them like this, it will stop erosion so the wind doesn't ruin your crops. Now one good part about this windbreak is there's a series of trees. This helps so the wind goes and hits the first layer and goes up and over the top of the trees. Instead of just a single tall barrier which the wind would just hit like a brick wall. Now another good part about windbreaks is that the wildlife have a habitat here during the winter. This helps so the snow doesn't get in between the trees as much and there will be grass that the elk and deer can pick at throughout the winter so they don't have to go down lower into the valley to find somewhere to eat. The frameworks for our houses, the lumber that we use to warm them, and many other things about the trees. The way that trees form, there's 
stability of their strain comes from the cellulose in their mouth. The cellulose comes from the glucose. The glucose is processed and then forms all the strength that they need. We are able to extract the cellulose from the tree and put it into different things to make them stronger. Like our dishware, our toothbrushes, and even our nail polishes that we use. So remember, the next time you decide to paint your nails or brush your teeth, that you're really using resources that come from trees. Bernie, Bernie. Boom chicka tree, boom boom chicka tree, boom chicka tree, boom boom chicka tree. Big hole! Holy hole! Ah! Singing in the rain. I just be singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm and this tree. It's right backwards. That one, that one, then that one. And I like to call that snesses, nest, 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 nest. Elk and deer can pick at throughout the winter so they don't have to go down lower into the valley to find somewhere to eat. What? Transperspiration. Boom chicka tree, boom boom chicka tree, boom chicka tree, boom boom chicka trees. Look at them trees, look at the trees. I love trees, oh I love trees. Boom chicka trees, boom boom chicka trees. Boom chicka trees, boom boom chicka trees. Look at them trees, look at the trees. Boom chicka trees, boom boom chicka trees. Tweet, 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 tweet.